Bye-bye. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the 411 Mamas. This is Chrissy. And I have a video today for you about how to incorporate healthy choices into your diet when you're pregnant. So first and foremost, let's dispel the myth that when you're pregnant, you are eating for two because you are not. <laughs> you are not supposed to double the amount of food that you eat when you're pregnant like some people think that you're supposed to. Um, you're actually only supposed to add about 300 calories to your diet, providing that you started your pregnancy at an ideal weight. The thing that you're supposed to concentrate on is incorporating healthier choices into your diet to support the growth and development of your baby. So the first thing that you want to add to your diet is water. You're supposed to drink a lot of water when you're pregnant, probably even more than you do on an average basis. And this is really hard for me to do. Um, I'm not a big water drinker and I'm not a big fluid drinker um, at all. I never really concentrate on how much water I'm getting per day. Um, so it was hard for me to really buckle down and make sure that I drink enough water. So what I usually do is I always have something like this or um, a sports water bottle where I can fill it up with water and keep a measurement of how much water that I am drinking throughout if the I day. If I up to myself to try and get enough water in the run of the day, um, I would forget how much I had and I just would not do it. So I have to keep a bottle of water with me at all times. Another very important thing you want to make sure you're getting in your diet is calcium. Now you are taking prenatal vitamins, or you should be, and they have calcium in them and they have a lot of different nutrients in them too, but you really need to get as much calcium as possible. Your baby is constantly using calcium from the day he or she is conceived right up until birth, and if they do not get enough calcium from your diet, they will take the calcium from you. They will take it from your bones or your teeth, and you don't want that. You want to have enough calcium in your system. So again, this was difficult for me to do because I don't like white milk. I don't like drinking plain milk. Um, but I do like chocolate milk, so I drink chocolate milk and I eat yogurt too. Yogurt is something that packs a really big punch of calcium, so you definitely want to incorporate it into your diet. Something that I found out recently through this channel actually was Greek yogurt. And Greek yogurt is especially good because not only does it have a lot of calcium that you need, but it has a lot more protein in it. This tiny little tub right here has 40% of the recommended calcium for your day, and it also has 15 grams of protein. That's a lot of protein. One other interesting thing that I learned is if you have a lot of heartburn when you're pregnant, like I do, and you have to take Tums constantly, which I do, <laughs> Tums also contain calcium. So every time you get heartburn and you take a Tums, you're giving yourself a little bit more calcium. Something else that you want to incorporate into your diet right from the beginning is to up the amount of fiber that you have. When you're pregnant, your digestive system slows down quite considerably, so things do not move as freely as they once did. Now, without getting into disgusting details, <laughs> I did have problems with my digestive system in the beginning of my pregnancy, so I really had to make sure that I was getting enough fiber. So I do eat a lot of whole grain breads and items that have whole wheat or whole grain in them. Um, another thing that I really like is cereal with a lot of fiber, and the Kashi cereals are excellent. This is just one of the many kinds and flavors that they have. Um, I especially like this because not only does it have a lot of fiber, it has 10 grams of fiber per serving, it actually has 13 grams of protein as well per serving, which is very unusual for a cereal to have. So you are getting your fiber, your protein, your whole grains, and if you do like I do and add fruit to it as well, like a banana or some strawberries or blueberries, then you're getting even more fiber and even more nutrients just in one meal alone. 
One of the power fruits for fiber is kiwis, and I was so excited to learn this because I love kiwis, and I have no problem putting them into my diet, but they are known for getting your digestive system moving along properly. You can also get more fruit for less when you buy dried fruit. So if you are in need of something for like a snack and you don't want it to be a bad for you snack, you want to go healthier, then try getting some dried fruit and because they're shrunk down to a smaller size, you can actually eat more while consuming less. Whenever you're pregnant, Try as best as you can not to eat things that are reduced in calories or in fat because a lot of times they contain artificial sweeteners which aren't good for you on a regular basis and they're really not good for your baby. Things like sucralose or aspartame are and not good. And you do want fats in your diet, you just want healthier fats because they are essential in your baby's brain development. So I have really been trying to incorporate DHAs and healthy fats into my diet, and there's a couple ways that I do that. Number one, um, eggs are a source of healthy fats. You don't want to eat too many eggs because of the cholesterol in them, but you definitely want eggs in your diet. Just make sure they are cooked thoroughly before you eat them. Olive oil or canola oil is another source of healthy fats. So you can add olive oil to your salad or to your pasta to get a little bit more healthy fat into your if diet. If you are a big seafood eater, then there is a lot of fish that contain omega-3 fats and they're very good for you. Um, I unfortunately don't really like seafood that much, so I don't get my omega-3s from that source. Um, one thing to keep in mind is there is a lot of fish that you actually can't eat when you're pregnant, so make sure you do your research and find out if your favorite fish is healthy for you. There's also a lot of nuts that contain healthy fats, um, such as flaxseed or walnuts. Walnuts are really easy to incorporate into your diet because you can add them into salads or you can put them into a trail mix and have it as a snack. That is something that I really love doing. I buy trail mix all the time because it has fruit, dried fruit in it, and this one has almonds, and then I'll actually add walnuts to it as well. And this specific one, which is from a local grocery store, actually has little chunks of dark chocolate in it, and so it is to die for. I love it. I also bought this peanut butter, which contains omega-3s. Um, I don't eat a lot of peanut butter, but sometimes I will put this on toast for breakfast, and it's just another way that I can get the healthy fat into my diet. Now, as far as incorporating vegetables goes, um, I am not a big veggie eater. I hate to say it, but especially in the beginning when I first got pregnant, the thought of vegetables, like, turned my stomach. <laughs> So I found a couple things that work for me um, as far as incorporating vegetables into my diet goes. So the first thing that I'll do is I will buy raw vegetables and I will dip them into a dip that I like and a healthy dip if you can. So I have two favorite dips that I always use. The first one is bringing back that Greek yogurt theme. This one is a Greek yogurt veggie dip, and it's spinach and artichoke flavored, and this also contains omega-3s, so it's another source of healthy fat. And the other is avocado dip. This one is really yummy, and avocados are good for you when you're pregnant, and they contain the healthy fat as well. So that's one way that I can stand to choke down vegetables. <laughs> The second way is that I like to use baby spinach a lot. I use it to make salads, and I also will chop it up and put it into any pasta dish. I find that chopping up spinach and putting it into your pasta doesn't really change the flavor of your pasta, but it allows you to get some spinach and some vegetables and nutrients so into your meal. So saying that you should also incorporate protein into your diet, um, maybe try and look for more of a leaner protein like chicken or turkey or something like that. Or if you like fish, again, that's a good one too. So those were just a couple of ideas of how I have managed to incorporate 
some healthy choices into my diet, you know, being kind of a fussy person. So if you guys have any further ideas that you would like to share with me or any of the pregnant mamas out there, please post a video response or leave a comment down below. So don't forget to subscribe and to follow us on Facebook, and I will see you all next time.